Now this video segment is for a, someone who has asked me on the Facebook that how can I differentiate between the uh, corticomedullary uh, region or how we report the corticomedullary differentiation. Now this is the longitudinal axis of the uh, left kidney and uh, when you take the when you get the longitudinal section you will see that uh, <coughs> now if you see in this region this is the capsule of the kidney this is the lower pole this is the mid region this is the lower pole of the left kidney. Now you see that uh, below the capsule there is a hypopoic area band of tissue uh, measuring approximately uh, 8.6 millimeters and this is where it's called the cortex of the kidney. Below uh, the cortex you will see small tiny cystic areas here you are seeing three in the uh, three cystic areas are in your view one two and the three one. this is the third one now these are the pyramids these are called the renal pyramids they will appear as you are seeing uh, in this uh, video segment and approximately they will uh, between uh, four to seven center millimeter now this is the med medulla, okay? Now this is the cortex, this is the medulla, and when you combine both of them, this will give you the uh, measurement of the parenchyma, which is 17 millimeters approximately. So uh, this is how you differentiate between the cortex and the medulla. In uh, renal parenchymal disease, these these pyramids are not seen and you will see muffling or loss of these uh, pyramids and uh, you will just see this an area may be raised with raised echogenicity or with normal echogenicity uh, an area which will not have this uh, cystic, uh, cystic appearing <laughs> areas the pyramids the, you will not see that you will only see the cortex uh, and the medulla may be uh, lo lost, thinned out, or may be increased uh, in its. Uh, here you see now these. This is not a cyst. This is not a cyst. This is the pyramid. This and above the pyramid, below the capsule, and above the pyramid is the cortex and uh, combining all two cortex and medulla will give you the parenchyma of the kidney. Now remember that uh, this right echogenic area that you will see in a normal kidney will, uh, will, be, uh, will appear uh, as, the, as we are seeing in this uh, normal kidney, bright, densely bright, shiny, echogenic with no shadowing and this is the collecting system, fat or the central sinus ecocomplex, this region this area. So, uh, and if you, now, uh, one of the, if you magnify the image, then one of the factors that will define that you are seeing the pyramids and not a cystic area is that you will see a tiny, bright, ecogenic structure interior to the yeah yeah now this is the pyramid and you are seeing a bright tiny ecogenic area interior to it these are the arcuate vessels and these should not be confused with the calculi this is a normal finding of vessel really seen interior to the pyramids in most of in cases where you are seeing a normal kidney. 
so I always stress that uh, be perfect in normal as much as you can. Until, unless you do that, uh, you cannot go for the findings or pathologies. So try it yourself. Try it again and again on a thin patient so that you are able to get the uh, uh, understand the normal. Now if this is the pyramid and you see this tiny cystic, uh, tiny tubular area which is the arcuate vessel. And this is the pyramid. Here I'm showing one pyramid, one arcuate vessel. Actually, one. There will be one. This is the arcuate vessel. This is the cortex. This is the medulla, and this is the arcuate vessel. So, this is how we differentiate between the cortex and medulla, or this is how we report the corticomedullary differentiation in. Uh, now you see that uh, in this case you are seeing again three pyramids, one, two and three. Now you see a tiny tubular area seen anterior to this uh, pyramid at the upper pole region is the arcuate vessel. This is the arcuate vessel here. This is the mid-region pyramid. You can see a tubular structure anterior to it. And this is the pyramid, this is the arcuate vessel. In this case, you are not, we, will, we are not seeing the arcuate vessel, though uh, this is this tiny uh, bright area that you are seeing is the arcuate vessel. This is the pyramid, rest all of this is the cortex. So the, we, in this case, we will say that the corticomedullary differentiation is intact. Now remember anything of this type, the cystic and area, if you see within the central sinus sacro complex, well, is not the medulla. Be careful about that. Medulla will be up anterior to the uh, to, uh, central sinus sacro complex. Thank you very much. Now, if we come see, uh, see this uh, kidney with pathology, forget about the pathology, concentrate on the uh, parenchyma. This is the longitudinal section and uh, this is the right kidney. Okay, now concentrate on this kidney. Parenchyma. This is the longitudinal view of this kidney. And now you can see that this is the capsule of the kidney. This is the cortex of the kidney. And there are no pyramids seen. So we will say that the corticomedullary differentiation is lost in this kidney. Or if not that, you can see it is muffled with this being a calculus in it. So uh, we, here in this video segment is basically meant to uh, tell you how we differentiate between the uh, corticomedullary differentiation. The, in normal cases you will see the capsule, below it you will see the cortex as you are seeing here, but here you will see small tiny cystic areas with the the arcuate vessels, tiny tubular structures above, uh, anterior to them, they, they are not seen in this uh, kidney. So in this kidney, the corticomedullary differentiation is lost. Thank you very much.